Well, leaders of the Main Street Buffalo Hostel are staring down an uncertain path. The city of Buffalo cut power to that building this morning, leaving the guests scrambling. News 4's Patrick Ryan has been following this story for months. He joins us live now with the latest chapter in this battle. Patrick. Don and Jackie, the city of Buffalo slapping several notices on the front door of this theater district hostel this morning, ordering them to cease operations and move everyone out. In fact, in the last hour, several people in and out of the building, including a Buffalo City project manager and a lawyer for the hostel, trying to figure out the next steps. This all comes as three people were inside staying and five more guests were slated to check in today. It's just the latest blow to the hostel. The order of condemnation comes as the city of Buffalo's Urban Renewal Agency looks to fix up the city-owned property and sell it off. A hostel employee who was working at the time tells us they were blindsided as city inspectors and National Grid deemed the building unsafe. The Renewal Agency tells us an inspection of the front and rear building's electrical box revealed a, quote, imminent danger. As a result, the city cut power and ordered guests and a longtime employee who lives and works at the hostel to leave. It's a surprise. Um, we just, we just wish that the city would work with us um, and uh, protect its not-for-profits. This, though, came, you know, again, as a surprise. If National Grid comes in and tells you there's a safety hazard, that stops all things. That changes any date I could have ever put out there anyway, right? We have to react to the safety concern, and that's what we did today. As you heard in the last hour of News 4, I pressed Hope Young Watkins you just heard from for the specifics of this surprise electrical problem, which led to the power being shut off and hostel closed. She did not know the specific details of that exact issue at the time. Now, the city had originally asked for the hostel to vacate this building by April 15th under certain conditions so they could fix it up and sell it off. The two sides have been at odds, prompting several extensions of that move-out date. Now, employees Employees here are remaining optimistic that this will not be the last nail in the coffin of the hostel's story. Meanwhile, the renewal agency is working to find a place to house these guests left out on the street. For now, reporting live in Buffalo, Patrick Ryan, News 4.